Hey everyone, it's Melody. I am here with a really huge loft haul. I have 21 separate pieces. I actually bought all 21 pieces for $80. That includes shipping. Super duper crazy, right? That means all of these pieces were just under $4. Now, since I have so many pieces, I'm not gonna do my usual show you the item and then try it on. We're gonna just go ahead and try all of these items on. I'm hoping that I can do this as a one part video, but if it's too much and I just can't edit it down, it might be a two part video, we will see. Let's go ahead and look at all of these items real quick. Oh my goodness. And let's go ahead and try them on. I will say that it's mostly tops, there are no bottoms. There is one dress and there are a few outerwear pieces, but it's mostly tops. So let's go ahead and try everything on you guys. All right, and just to get some housekeeping out of the way, I am 5'5 five, five in height for reference. I typically wear a size four, size small in bottoms. Typically anywhere from a size small, I go all the way up for an oversized look. I go down to an extra small sometimes if it's an oversized fit, it just depends. But I am top heavier, I am broad shoulders, I'm bust heavier. I am an inverted triangle shape is what they like to call it. Uh, this is always kind of the state of my room. The light is very reflective this morning, so I apologize for that, but there's always my little Dyson right there. You can see it in the mirror. Let's go ahead and get started with this outfit. I will be trying all of the tops on with these pair of jeans. These are just American Eagle curvy highest rise jeggings. I just wanted to see if uh, everything would go with jeans because that's probably what I would wear most of these items with. Also, I have not worn jeans since like January or February. So I'm very, very pleased that they still fit me. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with this top right here. So as you can see, it is a sweater vest top. I actually purchased this in a size extra large. For a lot of these sale items, I just kind of went with what the reviews told me, what the material was made out of, and how it looked like on the model, and if I wanted kind of more of an oversized fit in general. Also, sizes were a little bit limited, so I kind of just chose what was the best for me at that time. This was originally $44.95, so about $45. I bought it for, again, just about under four. It is really a nice, high-quality knit material. It has a nice little crew neck to it. It's quite stretchy though. It also obviously, since it is knit, it does have holes in it. I am wearing a nude colored bralette underneath. I don't think you can really notice or see it. It is sleeveless as you can see. The underarm uh, pretty much hides my bralette, but that's not a huge deal to me. I know some people get bothered by stuff like that. It does have a little bit of that ribbed detail at the bottom to kind of bring it in. It's a little bit loose and baggy. I really like the pink color. I think it's really nice. I don't own a lot of pink items. From the side, you can see a lot of stretch. I can definitely eat all you can eat sushi and all that good stuff but I do think it's a nice piece especially given the price point point. and here is the same top in white again you can't really see my bralette through it so it is a nice dense white it's not sheer by any means the length of it's really good my waistline's about here I kind of think I prefer the pink one for some reason I don't know why Again, here it is from the side. Size, this is an extra large as well. Same price as the pink one, of course. Here's the next piece and I absolutely love this one. It's just a really nice navy blue sweater. It's actually quite textured and I'll show that to you. I'll turn the camera uh, so you can actually see the detail of it a little bit better. But here's how it looks overall. I did get this in an extra large. Sweaters can be oversized, cozy, comfy. That's what a sweater is. So I don't ever mind buying sweaters in a larger size. So this is an extra large, so obviously big in the body for me. I do think that the length for the sleeves are fantastic. For me, it comes up to a little below my hips, I would say. It's very comfortable, very warm. It's quite stretchy. It does have some holes in it, so it's a little bit airy. This was originally $60, $59.50, I believe. Here's how it looks from the side. So as you can see, very, very roomy. And let me show you the actual details of the sweater because it's so, so nice. All right, I think you can see that a little bit better. So obviously because it's a knit material, there's a little bit of holes here and there, but again, I'm wearing a nude bralette. You can't really tell. There's also some raised details here with like little button, almost dot-like sort of knit details, which adds a little bit of texture to it, which I really like. The sleeves go all the way down, as you can see. It's just a very nicely constructed knit sweater. Absolutely cozy. It looks fantastic. I'm very, very impressed with this piece. And here is the same sweater in a cream. It looks so nice. I think you can see the details a little bit more since it is a lighter color. I picked this up in an extra large as well. The length of the sleeve is fantastic. 
Again, a little bit shorter in the body and the torso. I kind of feel like the white one, or this cream one, is a little bit shorter than the black one for some reason. Again, from the side, lots of room. This is really nice, I actually love this one too. Sorry if you can hear my washing machine. <laughs> It's I'm washing clothes. Anyways, here is the cream one and you can see the details definitely better Like look at all of this work on it all of this knit work. It's just a very pretty Sweater and I don't own a lot of sweaters like this I'm not usually very fond of sweaters to be quite honest, but isn't that just gorgeous? I just think the quality of this is phenomenal. I just can't believe I picked it up for four dollars Next up, we have this seafoam green t-shirt top, I guess. It's very, very soft. This is actually from the Lou and Gray soft collection on Loft. This was originally $59.50. I don't understand it. I mean, it's quite soft. It's very comfortable, but it is a little bit pricey, I feel like, for a shirt. Again, lovely seafoam color. It does have a shorter sleeve. Not quite a cap, but just a shorter sleeve. It does have a little bit of detailing to the sleeve, as you can see. I think it's supposed to be more of a dolman sort of top, and I know it's quite wrinkly, and I apologize for that. It's been kind of like hanging out in my room waiting to be tried on for this video. A little bit shorter in the body, comes right below my hips, I would say. I got this one in a size small, and it's quite roomy. So even from the side, a lot of room room there. The color is really nice. I like this seafoam green. It reminds me a little bit more of springtime colors. And this is a small, which kind of fits like those extra larges did in the sweaters. And the softness of it is crazy. So this is an acrylic rayon spandex blend, which obviously expa explains why it is so soft. But it can be cold wash in the laundry. It's not like a hand wash only item or anything like that. Here's the next one. It is just a very plain black t-shirt. I picked this up in a size extra large. It's 100% cotton and I read from the reviews that these shrink a little bit in the wash. So I got a little bit worried. So I just got it in the extra large. I actually really like it. It's nice, big, billowy. I feel like the oversized look is kind of in right now anyways. I do like the longer sleeve length. I usually like sleeves that are a little bit more of a drop sleeve or longer like this. I love that the neck is nice and open. And for being 100% cotton, it doesn't feel super heavy and dense and thick. So as you can see, it is definitely a textured 100% cotton sort of material. Very different than what I was expecting, but I'm actually very pleased. And again, from the side, this is where you can see it's quite big. Original price, $39.50, so 40 bucks. Again, I got mine for a very good sale. Um, and again, I got this in an extra large. And here is the off-white sort of ivory colored 100% uh, cotton shirt, just like the black one. You kind of tell the texture of a little bit more here. This is definitely sheer. I feel like you can see my bra outline through it. But you can see the sleeve detail a little bit better here. It is nice and comfortable, don't get me wrong, but I always try to incorporate light colored things into my wardrobe like this. But I mean, you can see like the jean outline, like whites and off whites, you can just see through and I'm not about that. Again, very roomy, very stretchy. I picked this one up in an extra large as well. And again, this was 39.50, so 40 bucks originally. I guess it's not terrible, but not quite for me. And here is that 100% cotton t-shirt top in a mustardy yellow. The mustard one is not see-through, I don't think. I think it's pretty much opaque. Again, I bought this in an extra large as well. From the side again, lots of room. These are really comfortable. I can see myself wearing them, just like putting it on, going to the grocery store, things like that. Uh, they do wrinkle a bit, so I'm definitely gonna have to put a steamer to it. I hope you can do that with 100% cotton material, can you? I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm gonna have to Google that. Again, $39.50 originally. I do think this would be nice if you like tucked it in a little bit since it's just a regular shirt as well. I'm glad I picked up all three colors. The white ivory one is my least favorite just because it is sheer. I just wish I had picked it up in a smaller size. I think this is a lot of yellow. Here's the next top. It looks a little funny. It's actually not too bad. It's in kind of a slub knit looking material. It's actually cotton and nylon, I believe. It's a cotton nylon blend. It has three quarter length sleeves. It's a little bit of a nude, white, off-white sort of color, but again, very slub knitty. I, slub knitty? I will show you what it looks like when I turn the camera around, but this is the length that it is on me. So it is a little bit more more cropped and boxy than I thought it would be. I picked this up in a size medium because someone said that the body was very large and it is. The body of it is huge, which I don't mind because the sleeves are a little bit fitted and it has that dolman sort of effect again. The interesting about these, this, is that it has a very large slit all the way up the side. It's a crew neck. The material's okay. It's not exactly the softest of materials, but it's also not scratchy or uncomfortable by any means. I usually don't like it when it has this big slit and it's this square cut. I 
just feel like it looks a little odd on my body shape. This was originally $40, I think $39.50 or so. And I think you can see the actual material of it a little bit better here. So it kind of has that washed burnout look to it almost, but it is a knit material. So that's why I said slub knitty. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous, but... There you go. Here's the next piece. This one was a little bit of a gamble because people had a lot of opinions about this a little sweater t-shirt short sleeve top. This is a kind of nudie color. It does have flecks of gold threading throughout it and I do think it's a little bit sheer because you can definitely see my bra outline through it. It does have a crew neck, these short sleeves. It is a knit material. Yeah, you can even see my jean outline through that, huh? I'll turn it around so you can see the gold flecks a little bit better. I got this in a size medium. This was $65 dollars originally. Yeah, I don't know who is shopping at Loft at retail price, but my goodness, be friends with me. A little bit of room in the body. Definitely more cropped than some of the other shirts that I have. It's not a crop top by any means. It's just shorter in the torso than some of the other pieces that I've already tried on. So here it is on. I think the color of it's actually really nice. The gold threading does make it ever so slightly itchy, but not as itchy as a lot of people were saying in the review section. I still think I could wear this comfortably. I wouldn't be too bothered by it, but there are like random places <laughs> where I can definitely tell it's a little bit itchier and it might be where the seams are. Like I can kind of feel things here, like where the seam kind of bundles up, but you can definitely tell the gold kind of flex through it. I think a little bit better here. It does seem like a very high quality top. The material, the content of it, the make of it, the structure of it seems quite high quality. Here is the same sweater top, uh, short sleeve top, but this is more of a yellow gold. That one was more of a pinkish gold. I'll show you guys a side by side comparison just so you can see the color. I feel like this one is just a see through. I don't know, it's so hard for me to tell sometimes. I do think that you can see the gold a little bit more. And I will say now that I've tried on and taken off both pieces, you definitely can tell the scratchiness when you are removing or putting on the garment. Like you, that's when you could really tell. When it's resting on your body, it's not as bad. But when you're trying to take it off of your body, you're definitely feeling that gold threading that's a little bit scratchier. I do think that I prefer the pinkish color over this yellowy tone. And here it is in the sunlight. You can tell the flex of gold a little bit better, right? It's actually quite pretty. So here are the two pieces kind of side by side. So you can see this one is a little bit more on the pink sort of tan hue and this is a little bit more yellowy and golden. Again, size medium, 64.50. It does say that since this is a delicate, due to the delicate nature of the yarn uh, knitting process, this piece can snag easily. <laughs> P.S. Don't wear jewelry with it is pretty much what it's saying, which is kind of funny. Next up, we have this boho printed top. I got it in a size small. This was originally $59.50. I really almost didn't pick this one up because the pattern of it isn't exactly my favorite. However, I kind of like it. I think it's actually kind of nice on. So it has that boho sort of feel to it. It has an open neckline here along with tassely bits, which I never really mind. There's no button or anything like that. And there is just this kind of like nice detail here, which I'll try to show you when I turn the camera around. There isn't a lot of stretch to this material though. I'm kind of surprised by it. I think I picked up the size small because someone online said that it does have a nice oversized fit to it. However, since it has no stretch to it, I definitely can feel it when I'm moving around like in my shoulders and things like that since I am a little bit more broad shouldered and it's actually quite snug when I have my arms up like this, but pretty loose as you can see when I have my arms down. It's interesting. <laughs> I definitely think I could wear it though. It is a nice length overall. It does have a little slit at the side. The pattern I thought was going to look really busy. It does look a little bit busy but not as crazy in person as I thought it would. It looks I think a lot better in person than it does in camera. So you can see the nice little like almost like embroidery sort of detail to that. That's actually really pretty. I would have definitely never purchased this for the original price of $59.50. Definitely not worth it compared to some of the other pieces that I got that are around the same price point. But for the sales price I think it's fine. Here is the next piece. It's a dark kind of striped rainbow colored t-shirt. It has a little bit of ruffling here at the sleeve, at the shoulder. This I got in a size medium. It's part of their like soft collection, which I don't think is very soft to be quite honest. It does have a nice open neckline, which I appreciate. The sleeves come right about there. 
and there is a bit of ruching detail here at the sleeve. I was a little hesitant on getting this top because of this detail, because things like this obviously will make you look a little bit more broad shoulders because you're adding bulk to the bulkiest part of you. But it looked so cute on the model, I figured I'd give it a try, especially at the price point. I like that these stripes are really subtle and small and the colors are a little bit muted. The medium does have a bit of room in the body, which is surprising, but it feels snug across the shoulders for me personally. It does fall at a good place as well, and this is one, these are one of those shirts that are really easily tucked in or you can tie up in a knot and things like that, which I do like. I like versatility to a shirt. I have no idea what the retail price of this is. The tag had that part cut off. I wanna say it was like $29.50 if I remember correctly. And just so you can see the detail of the stripes a little bit better, I think that's so pretty. Here's the next item. This is such a disappointment because it looked so cute on the model and I just do not like it on me. I think it's because I have a bigger bust line. But here is this little tank top with this little frilly, almost peplum-like detail at the bottom. For my torso and my body length and my shape, I just don't think it works. It does have a really nice open V neckline. It's supposed to be 100% rayon and I feel like it is absolutely not. <laughs> this definitely feels like it has some sort of polyester blend to it because rayon typically is very stretchy and this is not this is quite snug at my bust line this is pretty snug everywhere else I get I did get it in a size small thinking that it was rayon so that it would be pretty stretchy it is not the case it's a little busy too with the ditzy floral print the color I like I actually like the color I like the v-neck I just wish that the body of it was a little bit longer and this fell a little bit lower so obviously a lot of room here at the frilly bit so definitely can hide a food baby or even a real baby if you want to hide your real baby. And here is the last top actually. So woohoo, we're getting through this pretty good. This is a floral print square neckline sleeveless tank. This also said it was 100% rayon and I feel like they're liar liar pants on fires because this also feels like there's a little bit of a polyester blend to it. I will say that this is a little bit stretchier than the last one, a little bit more forgiving. This also is a size small, but it feels so much better than the last tank top. I'm actually pretty surprised. I usually don't like square necklines, but this one looks pretty decent. I think it's because it's cut up higher. It doesn't accentuate my bust line very much, which I also like. And the straps of this tank are actually a little bit thicker, which I also like. Lots of room in the body. I actually feel like this one's pretty cute. I'm into this one. And I totally forgot to say it, but it's a size small and originally $54.50. So the price point of this one I think was much more pricier than this one, which makes sense of why I feel like it's a little bit better feeling and better make. You guys, I lied. I have one more top. It's this black ditzy floral print one. It's got a high neckline. It's very flowy. The front shell, I believe, is polyester, and the back paneling, which is the same sort of material print, is actually rayon. I wish the whole thing was made out of this back material because it's so much softer, but this is actually probably the most comfy of the three tank tops that I purchased. Again, it's a ditzy floral print. I do wish that the neckline was a little bit lower. Uh, bra straps may show a little bit because it does have a little bit more of that halter style to it. It comes in at the neck. Here it is from the side, very flowy. Oh, and this was a size small and originally $49.50, I believe. So I'm trying on this olive green cardigan, which may look familiar because I actually purchased the black one and the cream colored one in my last loft haul. The color of it's really nice. I actually like this. These are cardigans because it does have this stitching detail right here, like one stitch detail, but otherwise it would pretty much be a Ruana because as you can see, it's very square and it just kind of feels like a shawl. So it is a short sleeve, obviously. Very, very comfortable. I got this in a size extra small, small, and it's extremely roomy. The original price of these bad boys are $69.50. It is long in the back, so it would cover up your bum. But again, other than that, other than this one stitching here, it's open. Very nice quality, for sure. Next up, we have this open front cardigan. It's in this nice ivory sort of cream color. It is definitely a dolman sort of fit, so very fitted in the sleeves, and then kind of bat-wingy here to be body. Again, open front, no details, no pockets, unfortunately. And the other olive green one also does not have pockets. The sleeve length is about a three-quarter length sleeve with a dropped shoulder. I got mine in extra small, fitted in the sleeve, roomy in the body, has a little slit right there. I believe these were originally $59.50. The cream colored one actually looks really pretty. I feel like it looks very sophisticated for some reason or very, like I feel like I could go see my grandma in this and she'd be like, oh, you look so nice today. <laughs> 
The material's pretty soft. It's kind of got that slub knit look to it as well. Just nice and drapey, but I think it's pretty. And here's the same cardigan in a very pretty light pale blue. It's actually so pretty on, I was, I'm kind of surprised. So same as the cream, open, fitted sleeve, dolman-like look to it. This I also picked up in an extra small. Has a slit at the side. It feels pretty cozy. Not as soft as, again, other cardigans that I own, but I think it's a cute look. But this blue one is actually kind of pretty and fun. And then the one piece that isn't an outerwear piece, I actually picked up this dress. It's a very simple black jersey, very soft dress. It almost pretty much looks like those ones from Old Navy. It does have a little bit of crochet detail up here. Other than that, it has a nice open neck. Line. It's very, very soft, very comfortable. No pockets or anything, unfortunately. Comes right above the knees. I picked mine up in a size small and there's still a bunch of room to it. So this probably will look better if I have something over it or a belt or something just to give me a little bit more definition. But if I just want to wear it and be free and frolicking, I will do so. Originally, this is $80. I think the quality of this one is a little bit thicker, a little bit more dense, a little bit more high quality, but $80, my gosh, I don't know about that. Would have never bought it for 80. So here is the crochet knit knitted detail at the top. It's actually quite detailed, very pretty. You can see my bralette through it a little bit, but I would just wear either this nude one or a black one. It wouldn't really matter to me. But again, 80 bucks, wow, loft. You do you though. Thanks for the sales, that's all I can say. And for our last and final piece, I am trying on a kimono. I don't own a kimono because I don't really like how they look on me most of the time. And I don't know how to wear them. I think that's probably just it. It's hard for me to figure out how to wear a kimono because when it's that hot out, I don't want to be wearing an extra layer no matter how thin it is. But when it's cool enough out, I don't want to be wearing a kimono because I'd rather be wearing a hoodie. So it's just, I think it's based on climate here where I live, things like that. Anyways, here is the kimono. It's a long line one. It's even longer than the dress. Can you believe it? So this one comes right about at my knees. It's in this really nice dark ditzy floral sort of print. It does have smocked detailing at the back. So it is giving me a little bit more shape than I thought it would, which is fantastic. I got this in an extra small. It has no stretch to the actual material of it because it's pretty much a polyester material, but because of the smock detail at the back, it has a little bit of stretch at the waistline, which is kind of nice. This was originally $59.50, a little pricey for a kimono, but I will say that it feels like a very high quality kimono. So they are labeling this as 100% rayon as well. And I, I'm gonna call them liar, liar pants on fires again, because it doesn't feel like rayon by any means. I think with this dress, this is a kind of a look. I think this is kind of nice. I could definitely see myself going out looking like this. I'm glad I decided to pair these together. I usually have a lot of solid colored things, so having something that has a little bit of pattern on the outside I think would help. So this is actually very nice, especially for the price point, you guys. I couldn't say no. I had to try it for sure. I think this would go well with jeans, with a skirt, with shorts even, just because it's nice and flowy. What do you guys think? And that is it, you guys. That is the end. Oh my gosh, I don't really know how I'm going to be editing this. This is a lot that I just did. A lot of trying on, a lot of talking, a lot of recording. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyways. If you happen to like loft, loft clothing, or just hauls in general, definitely give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. It also just kind of lets me know that you like to see videos from me other than Lululemon. <laughs> My last loft haul did pretty well, so I figured I might as well share this, especially since I got such great deals. Definitely look for those sales on loft.com. I don't even know how I stumbled upon this one, but it was such a crazy good sale, and I picked up quite a few pieces that I really do like. So hopefully you guys liked watching this. If you guys want to see more from me in general, definitely hit subscribe down below. I also have playlists so you can just kind of rifle through and see what you want to watch. Thank you so much for watching these videos. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, staying happy. I will talk to you guys later.